This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Everything is blue, his pills, his hands, his jeans, and now I'm covered. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time stumbling across this part of YouTube. My name is Day, but I go by Prisma, and welcome to the start of my Sims 4 Realm of Magic Let's Play. This is probably going to be a mini series. I try to, you know, do mini series when it comes to game packs and things like that, just so it doesn't get overplayed, but I definitely want to explore this. And from what it sounds like, it sounds like there's a lot of little mini details in this, as well as like, I wouldn't say skill building, but it's kind of like skill building. So we'll see how long it takes us to get higher up in the ranks. But just want to give a huge thank you to EA and the Game Changes program for giving me early access to this pack. I'm super excited to dive into this. I have been excited for this pack since they announced it at, was it EA Play? I think it was EA Play. So I have just been so excited for some type of magical aspect to be added to The Sims 4, and witches are always a lot of fun. I play witches, play with the witches a lot in The Sims 3, so I'm really excited to see what they're going to be like in The Sims 4. So welcome to The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. So we're starting out with a like family household, and then we're going to break apart into our two main Sims. But I just wanted to introduce you guys to everyone, that way you have more of a complete idea of these Sims. So there's going to be a lot of talking in the beginning of this video. So you're more than welcome to like fast forward to the actual gameplay if you're not really interested in story stuff. I totally understand. Um, so let's get introduced to our Sims. So as you can see, we have four Sims here and a little kitty cat. So we'll start out here with Emery. Emery is the dad of the group and he is a human Sim. So Emery happened to stumble across Malia while they were out and about and Malia here is a spellcaster. She's not a grandmaster spellcaster, but she's pretty high up in the ranks. She's also dabbles into alchemy as well, so she kind of does a bit of both. They met each other out in just a very mundane mall, and Malia knows that typically, when it comes to spellcasters and the supernatural, they kind of stick with their own. So she was kind of breaking the rules when she chose to talk with Emery and becomes friends with Emery. And soon she fell in love with Emery. So they went, or Malia went against everything that she knew in regards to the mystical world. And she chose to marry Emery and have a more quote unquote mundane life for herself. <laughs> Um, she still would dabble in magic, but just not as frequently as she would have if she had been with another spellcaster. So years later, after they got married, they had two twin daughters. And these two are the Sims, like, are focused of this Let's Play. So this is Portia, and we have Serenity. So Portia here, she is outgoing, non-committal, and jealous, and she has the spellcraft and sorcery aspiration, which is one of the new aspirations that we got with Realm of Magic. Um, so with that, it's under the knowledge category. This sim craves a deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts. So she's going to be more into the spell casting and the dueling and just getting her um, spells figured out. Not sure which school we're going to go to. I, I want her to learn everything, but we may focus on one school and just kind of like go around a little circle there. Um, so as you can see, I've used Realm of Magic outfits for these guys. I'm not going to go through all of their outfits because they have quite a few. We'll kind of see them as we go through everything. And then we have Serenity here. Serenity is good, clumsy, a perfectionist, and she has the purveyor of potions aspiration, which means this sim wants to learn every potions recipe and craft each one. So she is gonna be more of our alchemist. She wants to learn all of the potions and be able to use those potions to kind of help with everyday life and to help her and her sister get through the quote unquote schooling that they have to go through. So as you probably saw, Serenity and Portia are both human, technically, but they are able to have the capability of going into the magical realm. So in the world that we are playing in, in order for a sim to be born a spellcaster, both of their parents have to be spellcasters. So since they each have their father who is human, they are technically human, but still have that magic in their veins. They just have to be able to go to Glimmerbrook and kind of like tap into it and access it. So the average mundane person is not able to use magic, even if they happen to be able to stumble across 
uh, Glimmerbrook, but in order to be able to go through that magical portal you, portal, you have to have some type of magic in your veins. That's why they're going to be able to go through the portal into Glimmerbrook. So that's kind of the way that I have chosen to ah. do this is where there will not be, you know, any typical human in Glimmerbrook. And if they are human in Glimmerbrook, that means that they probably have a parent that is a spellcaster or of another occult. They could be, you know, alien, um, vampire, whatever. So, a little bit about these girls is that Serenity, again, is going to be more into the alchemy side of things. Um, she actually gets along a lot better with her dad, and it's everyone gets along, don't get me wrong, but she just kind of is more close to her dad, while Portia is more close to her mom. So, Portia, or sorry, Malia, who's their mother, she is kind of known as kind of a crazy person when it comes to the spellcaster community. Uh, she does have the erot erratic trait. She's a little out there with her magic. She dabbled into black magic as well, which is kind of frowned upon in the spellcaster world. But Emery, her husband, is just wanting to support her, has always been there for her, and she's extremely, extremely grateful for that. So Portia is going to kind of take after her mom a little bit more in the sense that she may dabble into the mischievous side of magic and the spells that she wants to get into. She's also a lot more outgoing, so she'll probably have a lot more friends, go to parties, just get to know everyone a lot more than Serenity will. Serenity kind of keeps to herself a little bit more than Portia, but they're both very, I guess, nice quote unquote girls. They get along really well. They have a great relationship with each other, but who knows? That could potentially change once they get into Glimmerbrook. So that's kind of the basis of the girls and the family and what we're going to be doing. The cat, oh, I forgot to show you guys the cat. The cat's name is Jasper. Jasper is actually Malia's uh, familiar. So they met long, long ago and Jasper has been around for, you know, meeting Emery, for the twins being born, for them growing up. So Jasper is just kind of, you know, he does his own thing. He comes home every so often, but for the most part, he is out and about. He likes to explore. He is a little tuxedo cat and he kind of does his own thing. So he's aloof, curious, and talkative. So he kind of leaves the house, goes upon his day, and then comes back whenever he feels like it. So currently, we are living, I'll show you guys where we are. So we are living in, is it Midnight Hollow? Oh my god, I can never remember. What is this world called? <laughs> Forgotten Hollow, not Midnight, that's Sims 3. Midnight Hollow, Sims 3. We are living in Forgotten Hollow because like I said, we weren't necessarily, Malia wasn't kicked out of Glimmerbrook, but the other spellcasters kind of frown upon her because of her use of dark magic. So her and the family have decided to move to Forgotten Hollow where they're still around other occults, but they also have more interaction with humans. I'm not sure why my game is being like super laggy right now. But currently she is working on um, doing some experimentation or she was. Oh, discard that. Go ahead and get rid of that. Um, I'll show you a little bit more about her. So like I said, she's pretty high up in the ranks, but she's not like a master or grandmaster or anything like that. So this is what her kind of perk tree thing looks like, which of course we'll, di we'll dive deeper into with the girls once we're able to go step by step and seeing what that looks like. She also has finished her aspiration as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, neither her or Emery have jobs. They kind of just, she makes money by selling potions to um, other spellcasters and things like that, but she typically doesn't go to Glamourbrook all that often because of the tension that she has with the other spellcasters. Um, so our main focus, like I said, is going to be the twins here. So they are finally of age to where they are able to go through the portal and explore Glimmerbrook, learn about magic. They are so excited to tap into that magical part of their lives and to see what they are capable of doing. So yeah, as you can see, she kind of just kind of stays to herself with the potions. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Why, 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 what is that? I don't even know what that is. What are you doing, you crazy pants? I don't know what he was doing, but like I said, the girls are going to be leaving to start their magical schooling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Serenity come over here and we are going to give our dad a hug. We're gonna give him a hug. And then Portia, oh, you. Portia, 
I want you to come over here and give your mom a hug. There we go. <clears throat> you can stop. So come give your mama a hug because we are going to be leaving. They're going to be moving, like I said, to Glamourbrook. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Manage Worlds. We're going to separate the household out and we are going to have our girls spread their wings and be by themselves. Um, so we're going to go to Glimmerbook. If you guys have never seen what it looks like, this is what the icon for Glimmerbook looks like. I think it's so cute. This world is so beautiful. So there are technically two worlds when it comes to Glimmerbook. So you have this um, normal in the forest type of world where it has a few different lots. And then you have the magic portal over here where you're able to go into the magical part of the world. So we're going to move into the one starter lot that there is. There are a couple of families here that we will be able to meet and get to know them, maybe have some friends. There's also this uh, bar over here, which I have yet to explore as well. So we are going to separate the household. We're gonna have you and you. Oh, look at Jasper's face. Oh, he's so cute. Jasper is such a cute cat. And we're gonna move you guys into the starter house here. We're gonna buy it furnished. I have not even looked at the starter house yet, so I'm gonna be interested to see what kind of decorations that we get. We'll definitely be making, you know, upgrades to the house at some point whenever we get some more money. But yeah, it's super, super, super teeny. So this is where we are now living in the world of Glimmerbrook. This is, um, we're actually in fall, in case you guys couldn't tell. Oh, I just love this world. It's so beautiful. I love it so, so much. So I think first off, we need to make a couple of changes because we only have one bed and there's two girls. So let's go ahead and sell that. What is that? Um, I think the rest of it should be okay. So... Let's grab ourselves, how expensive are these? 500 each, I think that's doable. These are the new beds. Uh, maybe we'll do like that. Or actually here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this there, put you there, and move the mirror, okay. There we go, so now we have bedrooms all set up. Let's see, how is the kitchen? I'm not a huge fan of the flooring in the kitchen, so I'm gonna quickly go in and change that. I love the new um, wood panels. They're just so pretty. Like, look at that. You know what, I want this wood plan. I, like, I love this wood. It's definitely beautiful. Or actually, I kinda wanna, do I wanna do the darker? Yeah, let's do the darker one. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to like <laughs> go through and explore this, but there's just so much to see. There we go. That should be fine. Um, we have 3,000 simoleons left over. So we're going to get new appliances. And I do want both of the girls to have familiars of their own. I'm not sure if we're gonna get, like, you know, an actual cat cat or if we're just gonna use the ones that you summon. Oh my gosh, this new stove is so pretty. <gasps> Love it. Once we have more money, we will definitely be expanding into that stuff. Okay, that looks pretty good. I don't want to spend all of our money because we are going to have to buy like brooms and all that fun stuff. Okay, so we are here. Oh, it's so cold out. Um, let's take a look at their aspirations and what we kind of need to do for that. So for Serenity, of course, she has the potions one. First steps, the first steps are the same for her aspiration as well as Portia's. Become a spellcaster, tra travel to the magic realm and learn a potion recipe. Um, reach spellcaster level rank two on a cauldron. Know three different potions. So, uh, rank level three, five potions. Brew, reach level five, no ten potions. Okay, so that's pretty easy. And then I think hers is very similar. So yeah, learn a spell. Cast a spell on another sim. Ooh, win three duels against other spellcasters. And no ten different spells. Okay, yeah, that seems like it's pretty easy to do. So it's really early, it's Tuesday, 9 a.m. I think what I really want to do is travel to the beautiful magical realm. So in case you haven't seen the other houses, these are the other lots that are here. I really like that color of the house. This house though is just so beautiful. I love it so much. Oh, 
Um, I do want to wait to see if maybe the welcome wagon will come, but I'm not sure. I'll give it a little bit of time and see if they'll come. It is really cold. <laughs> oh, let me actually buy them a thermostat. That way they're not freezing their little butts off. There you go. Buy you a thermostat and you can turn on the heat. So that way they're not having to be super cold in their own, uh, I almost said apartment, in their own house. Oh, what did you do? Why did you put that down, you weirdo? Drink that. I'll wait until like 1030 for the welcome wagon. If they don't come, then we're leaving because I really want to explore. Um, while we're here, though, let's take a look at some things. So there are some frogs here. Let's look for frogs. I don't know if frogs are actually used in the potions or not, but since they're here, let's go ahead and grab some. Oh, what's down here? Wild sage. That's not grown just yet. Go ahead and grab that stuff. Oh, GeekCon is in town, apparently. And we got ourselves a sunflower frog. You're really enjoying your movie, aren't you? Oh. Good. Yeah, we're probably just gonna leave. Once she gets that frog, we're just gonna go. Cause I want to explore. I think the magic portal is over here. Yeah, it's over here. So, can we just like take in what this world looks like? It's so pretty. I love it so much. Like, this is incredible. And then we have our magic portal. So, we are going to travel to the magic realm with our sister. I'm just going to speed this up while they come over here. But yeah, this is just like beautiful. I really want to take a screenshot. I know that someone made. Um, I think like PC backdrops of like Realm of Magic stuff. <gasps> it makes noise. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> that's really cool. So I think they, it's gonna take them a while. Oh, come on. Dang it, the welcome wagon showed up. Literally, you guys wait until now. Okay, well, just kidding. Let's come meet our neighbors first and then we will travel. Okay, so who do we have here? We have Minerva. Grace and Daryl. Oh, someone else is here. Let's invite all of our neighbors inside. Oh, who's this? What is your name? Tomax Colette? That is an interesting name. Everyone's wearing the hoodies that just came up the pack. Welcome! Come on in! Come get my fruitcake. It's kind of, it'd be cute if they had like a magical like food, you know, like maybe like a potion or something. I don't know. Um, here, do you want to introduce yourself? So let's greet our new neighbor. Let's, uh, did I greet you? I don't think I greeted you. Hello, how's it going? Thank you for coming to our really sad little house that we have. It's fine though. Here, let's, I don't know if these guys are magical or not. I don't know if there's a way to know if someone is a spellcaster or not. I actually don't know. Maybe it'll, like, have a certain way for us to find out. Thank you for coming. Give you a friendly introduction. Just greet everybody. You're enjoying the snow. Let's see. Let's do a funny introduction to her. Aw, they look so cool. All right, so how old are these people? You're a young adult. You're an elder. Young adults. Young adults. Okay. Okay. So there's a few different young adults. So like I said, I can't, I don't know if they're human. I don't know if they're spellcasters. I really don't know how you tell. Oh, but they're getting along pretty well. This is awesome. Thank you for coming. Come in, we'll do a great you. Hello, everyone. And after that, we're gonna leave. <laughs> Thanks for coming, but I want to go be a spellcaster. Thank you, bye. <laughs> uh, oh, did you just like walk into my house? Oh, whatever. I don't really have anything of value in there anyway. This is so sweet. No offense, guys. But goodbye. We should go. Okay, thanks. Bye. I really want to go become magical. So, yeah, thanks. Bye. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Lol. I'm still learning <laughs> the world. No, it's this way. Okay. I got so turned around there. Okay, so travel to the magic realm. Portia, bring our sister. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, bye.
Come with me to the magic realm, sister. Where is she? Oh my god, it's gonna take her so long to get over here. I probably should have just teleported. Whatever. Oh, here she is. Okay. We're just- we live so far from the portal. <gasps> Woo! <gasps> oh my god. Marcus Flex is a spellcaster? Um, wh what? Wait, I'm so confused. Is he a spellcaster? That's crazy! Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that, like, everyday townies could become spellcasters. That's funny. Okay. The swirling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond our, our own reality. Do you dare cross the threshold? Damn right I do! Let's go into this magical realm. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to, like, get into this stuff. It's gonna be so fun. I'm probably gonna record a lot of videos today, so a lot of the videos are probably gonna be <laughs> recorded all at the same time because I have no self control. Anyway, oh my gosh, look who's here! Oh, hi, Paolo, how's it going? But welcome to the magical realm. This looks incredible. Can we just like take a moment to just take it all in? I love the colors. I love everything about this. The waterfall is just beautiful. There's a bunch of different portals here because you have to take portals to go to the different, like, I guess, rocks or islands. I think there's four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So I guess at one point, the they were all connected and then something happened in the magical world where things started to break apart. So now there's the four sages, which help like kind of keep the magical realm intact so this is just so cool looking this is kind of like the school quote unquote area like your main area over here you have the shops and then i think up there is the dueling yeah this is the dueling area and then there's this like greenhouse thing here which oh god pfft, i don't know where i just went which i'm not entirely sure what this is used for or what this is Oh, you can like look for, oh, there's like a bunch of like plants blooming. Ooh, valerian root. That must be something that, oh, there's like a fishing spot too. Wow. Okay. That's really freaking cool. Anyway, so there are the four different, I guess, schools or branches of magic. So each uh, branch has like their own sage. So everyone kind of hangs out, I guess, in their area. So up here we have the Sage of Mischief Magic. Um, let's see, where are the others? I'm not sure where the other ones are. They maybe just be like out and about too. They do travel around. Oh, here's one. Down. Oh, here's two of them. We have Simeon Silver Sweater, who is the Sage of Practical Magic. Morgan Ember, the Sage of Untamed Magic. Oh, wait, sorry. There's three schools of magic and then alchemy. My bad. I apologize if I got that little mixed up. So these are the three sages. You can learn all of the different branches of magic. You don't necessarily have to, like, start with one. But I think um, either Mischief or Untamed is the first ones I want to do for Portia. Just because I think she would enjoy that a little bit more. Okay. So let's just have them take it all in. I mean, this is crazy. The fact that we went through a magic portal and somehow came through into this world. I mean, they've always heard stories of this world from their mother, but this is their first time actually seeing it. They've never experienced it. Oh, how cool. Oh, oh my gosh, girl. Girl, you need to be careful. Amelia Ernest. That, okay. Well, clearly she's a newer spellcaster a lower rank spellcaster because she basically almost killed herself on her oh okay now she's gone that didn't look safe this is so cool oh my gosh this is everyone's coming through the portal oh so this is the girl that we met right this is the girl that was at our house wait let me just double check i'm pretty sure that's her yeah that's the girl that we just came across so clearly she is some type is she the girl from the trailer i think she oh, may be the girl from the trailer so yeah she's definitely a spellcaster yep there she goes that's so cool oh my gosh that's so cool that will never not be cool to me and it is actually warmer in this area so i'm gonna have them change clothes uh outfit change outfit go into your everyday outfits yeah everyone's coming over here dang 
This is just oh, so freaking cool. So cool. Oh. But anyway, guys, this part's getting to be on the longer side. So I'm going to wrap things up here for today. There may be another video of this up today. Not sure what time. Uh, I have to look to see what time the embargo lifts because obviously my um, cast video and all of that is going to be going up first and then this part. So we'll see how it goes. If you guys want another part of this Let's Play today, go ahead and leave comments down below. If you guys are excited for this series and the first part of Realm of Magic, give the video a thumbs up. Leave all those comments down below. Also, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and I will speak to you all next time. Bye, guys. Everything.